cataractcoach.com. Paralyzed by fear, why do patients delay surgery for so long? Like this example, a patient with a very white cataract for years. So bad that the patient ended up developing sensory exotropia. So now when we fix this cataract, the patient may have issues with diplopia in the post-op period. So I'll show you the whole case. We're going to show it at two times normal speed. The technique here is the one you've seen before and stuff that you've already learned here on Cataract Coach. But the important thing here is to talk about the patients and their psychology and their mentality. And what is it about these patients? These patients are paralyzed by the fear. This patient was so nervous about having surgery. I was the seventh ophthalmologist that she visited. Seven. And... The patient still, even with me, ended up canceling surgery multiple times. Finally, I had to tell her, you need to just let go and trust me. You're in the right place. You found the right doctor. You found the right clinic. We're going to take great care of you. But you have to let go and just trust. And that's not easy for a patient like this. Even the morning of surgery, she wasn't at the surgery center at the required time. So we called her up. I called her personally and said, where are you? And she had one excuse or another. And I said, listen, remember, let go. I'm here to help you. I'll treat you like family and give you the very best possible care. She came super reluctant, so nervous, hypertensive and tachycardic before the procedure. Our anesthesiologist was lucky enough to give her some benzodiazepine, some midazolam, prior to even bringing her into the operating room. And that helped calm her down. In the operating room, we even had to do more anesthesia than typical. The patient had to have a very uh, moderate dose of propofol. And we were able to get this case done. And you can see now, as we remove the rest of the cataract, looking at that um, nucleus, it's pretty dense. And so she really did wait for quite a long time. This eye had a vision of count fingers at one feet due to that white cataract. The other eye has a vision of about 20 out of 200. So this patient's walking around legally blind in both eyes for years. And you can see, wow, what a difference to get some light shining on that macula. What a difference. Now, there's a little bit of a posterior plaque there that you see on the poster capsule and you know that's not going to be easily removed and we don't want to cause any damage here so what we're going to do is we'll clean up as best we can and if there's a little bit of scarring or staining or a plaque that on the poster capsule we're going to happily do a YAG laser capsulotomy in the post-op period just doing this cataract surgery alone even if she has that poster plaque will resolve 95 percent of her visual issues we're also dialing in a toric lens here. We're going to get this patient right to Plano with all the astigmatism fixed as well. And going now, removing the viscoelastic, we're going to finish up this case. So it's important you understand these patients and their psychology. We want to help them. But they are unfortunately paralyzed by fear. And there's really a, a, not a lot you can do other than to convince them to just let go. Just trust me. And so for this patient, believe it or not, I was explaining to her that it's like going to a great restaurant. Don't worry. Just trust the chef and you'll get a beautiful meal. You know you've come to the right place, both in terms of that restaurant and in terms of having the surgery done with us. So I'm happy to report this patient did really well in the post-op period. She did have some transient diplopia for about a week but because of that sensory exotropia. Fortunately, that ended up resolving itself, and she does not need to have a strabismus surgery. We also did her other eye, and the patient now is incredibly happy, and hopefully her story will help other patients who are paralyzed by fear. Just trust me. Check out cataractcoach.com, our free teaching website. So much good stuff on there. I know you love the YouTube video, so do I, but there's actually much more material there. You can submit your video or even sign up for a free daily email. We'll send you a great case like, just like this to your email inbox every day.